This video was uh, compressed from about two hours of video I did on the GoPro the other day. I uh, hope you like it. So I started with a piece of 3 8 round stock, coil spring, I don't know what is that, about 3 inches long. Well, to get, in, to get in everything I wanted, you can see that I had to uh, speed everything up by two. So, uh, laugh away. It's pretty funny. So right here I'm using a rounding hammer. Um, traditionally a rounding hammer has a relatively flat side and then a round side on it. And right here I'm using the flat side to dress down the blade and put the edge in the blade using the corner of the face of the handle. That set of tongs was, uh, I made those specifically to hold uh, 3 8 round stock and it'll hold it either way. It'll hold it vertically with the piece or horizontally, diagonally with the piece. Right there I'm um, using the round face of the hammer uh, to draw out the tang on, the, on this little patch knife or striker knife is what they're called. I generally call them a neck knife. All right, right here I'm going to be, uh, after I get it all straightened out, I uh, chamfered the edge of the tang, which is taking the square edges off. And that way when you twist it, you don't get a sharp, bitey edge on there to hold on to. And it uh, really adds a nice dynamic to the, to the way the handle looks after it gets twisted up. This little tool right here is um, one that comes from back in the day when I was shoeing a lot of horses. You, traditionally, I think they were used for holding the shoe so you could safe the heels on the shoe with a hot rasp when you were hot rasping them. Um, but it works so good for doing this kind of stuff that um, 
I've built one of these for all the anvils I have. Definitely one of the most used tools that I have. So right here I'm going to do what they call a courtesy bend. I'm going to put a little elbow in this so when I put that in the forge I can isolate the heat and only put the bend in. This is one of the many things I like about using a, a coal forge um, versus a, a gas forge, propane forge. It's really hard to do isolated heats in a, uh, in a propane forge and it's so much quieter to run than a propane forge. Very peaceful. So right here, I'm using a little block of beeswax to cool off the end of the little twist I just put in the end of the handle, and that way I don't distort it as I'm bending the handle shape around the uh, horn of the anvil.
So I'm using a hot rasp method here to address this um, blade down, and essentially it's an old used horseshoe rasp um, that I use to shape the shape the blade, knock the scale off the blade. Well, if you guys got this part through the video, um, you're about to see what this blade looks like roughed in. The only thing left when I get done here is to harden and temper the blade, which I do in my little special sauce I have. That's kind of the blacksmith secret. Anybody can make something that's shaped like a knife, but to actually get it hardened like one is a different thing. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me the comments. I'd like to know what you think. Hopefully we'll I'll be able to do some more here if it ever gets above uh, zero. Thanks, everybody.